Oh, that was a guard. Me saw it. Me saw it. And what is up guys, Hinchy Gaming here. Now I'm really, really excited to introduce you to my new series I'm going to be doing. And it's going to be Let's Plays on the game Elder Scrolls Online. Now what I'm going to be doing on this is I'm going to be using my max CP character, this guy right here. And we are going to go through all of the content in the game. And we are going to work our way through zone to zone, starting in Bankerai, guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover every single world boss every single delve every single dungeon public dungeon sky shards as boring as it is i won't probably won't even record that guys so that was a pretty much stupid idea but okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start in bankrai like i just mentioned and we're going to head straight to here and get right into it guys now, I'm not going to show you all the traveling between locations, blah, 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 because that might be just too boring for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump cut from location to location. I'm going to play through. And then for this episode, I'm going to also play the dialogues as well. Now, if you do not want to see the dialogues in the future, then feel free to drop me a comment in the box below and I will be more than happy to skip those as well. Now this is my first episode, so this is basically just going to be a tester. So if there's anything you would like me to add or anything you would like me to take out, really just let me know guys and I will be more than happy to do that. So like I say, we're starting the Heart of the Beast in Bankerai. Now we need to activate the wards. So as you can see on my compass at the top there where the wards actually are, we're going to go across and just activate those right now. Activate the wards, okay. How does one activate the wards? I don't know, let me kill this quick and see if this has something to do with it. Nope. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so we, I think we either need to kill a bear or we just need to stay in the vicinity of the circle to activate it. We will find out now. Actually guys, this looks like a pretty good place you could farm Drew's wax. I mean... I haven't travelled the entire thing and I don't know the respawn yet, but just, I will check this out after this video guys and if it is a viable I will be more than happy to make a video on this. So yeah, it does actually show that we do actually need to kill the bears to activate these wards. So we've done two, just two more to go. As you can hear the noise there, that shows that we're in the vicinity. And then when we kill these bears, as you can see, their souls or whatever it is, travels across to the ward right here. Okay, so we've just got one more to do. This is pretty simple, guys. Nothing too drastic. I'm going to leave that bear. And there's also mud crabs here. These also drop here. Uh, Rubido hide scraps as well, guys. So you could pull these alongside the bears if you want to attempt to farm Drew's wax here. Yep, so I'll definitely be checking this out after this video and I will let you know the outcome of that. Okay, there we go. There's the souls. And that's the last ward activated. Now we need to meet the Y-Ressers at the altar. Okay, so we'll just head over to the altar right now. Okay, here we are. Now we'll call upon Hercene and find out why he's forsaken us. As you restored the wards, you are now a part of the grotto's life too. Therefore, I will ask you to perform a necessary role in our sacrifice. Sacrifice? You still beating heart. You've offered to assist us? I asked you to be the ultimate sacrifice to save the grotto. You are the key to reaching her scene. <laughs> you think I'm giving you my heart? My heart's already taken. My beautiful lady sat downstairs right now. No! My rights. I should be the one to take the blade. Yeah. Go ahead. Go kill yourself. This person has already offered to help us. I never even said such a thing. I did not offer to help you. Lene, she's right. The heart of a stranger compared to a self-sacrifice. Her scene is bound to hear an answer. But we need three for the ritual. She can't do it. 
The outsider can do it. Only two of us are required for the prayers. I won't allow it. You've no choice. You want this to succeed or fail. Nironi is ready and willing. You know we're right. Talk to the virus Linnea again? Okay. More than that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Skip that dialogue. Bond and the forest itself. We may seem callous to outsiders, but we're closely knit. What we ask of you is not to be taken lightly. This is a serious and sensitive matter. Understood? Yes, I fully understand. So, take this ceremonial dagger. It's well sharpened to ensure swift work. Tyria and I will perform the ritual. Once prepared, you must act quickly to cut out the heart of Nironi and place it on the altar. <laughs> I get the bloodiest job. Let's go. First Nironi's sacrifice should be the extra edge we need to call upon her scene. Okay, I'm ready now. Wait for my Necessary or not, I'm down with this, guys. Let's go. And place it on the altar. I understand. At the ready. We're ready. Now cut out her heart. Put her heart in the bowl on the altar. Okay, let's wait for the ritual to complete. A worthy offering. What is it you seek? My prince, we seek to know why. Silence, pray. I speak not to the weak, but to the one who took the heart. This one interests me. Come, speak to me, hunter. Okay. You are not mere prey, mortal. Yet you aid the weird who still lick their wounds of defeat. Their fall to Granark and his reachmen lost them my favor. To earn it back, you must prove yourself a true hunter. And what do you have in mind? A hunter's challenge of skill. Hunt my aspects within my hunting grounds. A shade of this realm and my own. Prove yourself worthy of my favor. Only then will you earn the chance to retake the grotto for the weird. Okay, how do I get to your hunting grounds? You there. When you've won, if you've won, return There's no to the shrine. I will be there as the spirit of the hunt. We'll discuss your prowess and your final task for the grotto when the hunt is over. All right, I'm ready to face the aspects. Defeat Hirosin's aspect of speed, defeat Hirosin's aspect of strength, defeat Hirosin's aspect of gale, and talk to Nironi's spirit. Okay, let's talk to Nironi strength, first. Speed and guile. I know them well. He sent you to track them. The hunter's test, which I once undertook myself. Though I've not been dead for very long, I will answer your questions as a final favor. Tell me about the, the aspect, aspect of strength. strength takes the form of a bear. Crouch low to the ground to search for signs of its passing. A creature so large doesn't leave a subtle trail. Okay. Now tell me about the aspect, the of, aspect speed. of speed. Speed takes the wolf form. You may surprise it within its den, but only if you are careful. Look for its paw prints, which may appear as stars on the ground in this realm. Okay. Now tell me about the aspect of guile. Is it guy? How do you pronounce that, guys? I really have no clue. My English. Even though I am English, is not very good. <laughs> the aspect of Guile is the hunter. He'll be the hardest to track, for he wants no prey to realize his nearness. But every hunter must rest sometime. Seek his camp, and if you are lucky, the hunter will be there. Thanks for your help. Good luck, hunter. It's time for me to pass on and rejoin the cycle. Okay, let's go. So let's hunt these guys. Well, they mentioned something about crouching. I'm not 100% sure you look for tracks uh, when you was crouching, it said. So, what's this here? Well, it's just a wisp. Okay, that was nothing. I don't know what I'm actually meant to be doing here, guys.
Okay, well, it's just just a wasp. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna check the journal quickly, see if there's any hints in here. Okay, hint. Before Noani left, she told me how I could track the aspects. I can track the wolf by its prints, the bear by crouching and seeking the damage it left behind, and the hunter by finding his camp. So let's start from the top guys and we are going to track the wolf by its prints. Okay, so let's, let me just check the map quick and see how big the region really is that we've got to cover. Okay, I don't see no prints over there. And I've, I don't actually know what I'm looking for. How big are these? Are they going to stand out? Or Maybe if I start from the altar again here. Okay, so they're the prints. Okay, there's some more prints over here. Now I'm on the trail, guys. This is good. Here they are. Anybody see any more? Okay, up here we are. And then back over here again. Oh my god, it's just one big circle. Okay. Here we go. There's the wolf, guys. How much health has this thing got? I'm not running no add-ons in a minute. Oh, let's just... I'm going to nuke it with the ultimate anyway. Make it nice and quick. Okay. Now, what did we need to do again for the strength? The bear by crouching and seeking the damage it left behind. Okay. So, let's go back to the altar, in fact, again, guys. And we'll start from there all the time. And it should lead us the trail. Okay, so here we see this is the damage I guess we're looking for. Just kill this wisp quickly. So I'm sorry guys if the commentary is a little bit off. I am recovering from just being sick. Well, I say sick, I had, I had the flu, but I'm a big wuss when it comes to things like that. So I do apologize if it's a little bit off for now. It will improve, I promise. Okay, let's just kill these Drews and let's just kill everything. These guys drop scraps as well, so I'm thinking this place would actually be really viable for farming Drews hide. Because everything I'm finding here, the snakes, the Drews, the crocodiles, the bears, everything we're finding does drop Rubido scraps. If you've got the crafting level, if you're a lower level, then it'll drop raw hide scraps, etc, etc. So I am definitely going to check this out and see if it is a viable way for us to farm. Okay, there's the bear, guys. Okay, let's go back to the altar and find the last one, the aspect of the guile. Now, we need to find his camp for this, so I think it's just a case of roaming around and... Hunting it down, guys. Here we go. Aspect of Guile is here, guys. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Do some light attacks. Get these bow fired up. There we go. And then it's just a simple execute. There we go. So, we need to go back and talk to the spirit now. And I'm guessing this is just going to be where we hand in the quest, because it wasn't a specific quest line, it was just a point of interest, so to speak. Now we need to talk to Bryn Arch. A final challenge for us both. This should be easy. It may be more a challenge than you think. Doubtful. I defeated the wheel. I'll defeat you just as easily. <laughs> Does this guy know who I am? Will be mine permanently. Soon, 
I'll retake Evermore, and all the land which once belonged to my people. Your kind will be stamped out, and I will rule all! Good luck with that, my friend. Those lands will never be yours again. That's what you think. Come and get me. The Briarheart, this grotto Evermore, and all these petty kingdoms will be mine. I'll stop you. I'll stop you. <laughs> You've returned. Oh, wrong person. What happened? Has Hercene asked something of you? Yes, I defeated Hercene's three aspects. You've proven yourself a true hunter. And Brynark? What of him? As a final challenge, Hercene ordered me to fight him. Only one supreme hunter would be left. And with Brynark defeated, we can take back the grotto. Go. And luck be on your side. We'd assist, but it would be forbidden. I'll be back once I've dealt with Bryn Arch. Okay, the last part. Now, with it just being a side PvE quest, guys, I'm expecting this to be really, really simple, so... I don't need to explain anything as to mechanics, it's just a case of let's go and nuke this guy. It'd help if I had food on though. Job done guys. Okay, let's kill this guy quickly. He's frustrating me right now. Victory will be remembered. We could feel the death of Bernark through the earth beneath our feet. Even the insects will not mourn him. Hiracene will return the, the grotto to you. Thank you for making our sister's death worth it. We're in your debt. We still have a lot of work to do. Cleaning out the remaining Reachmen and regaining the full trust of the bears. And how long will that take? We can feel the connection returning, but there's no telling what damage has already been done and how long it will take to undo. Now please... Return the Briarheart to Hercene. I will. Ah, the proven hunter. I see you have the Briarheart, torn from the chest of the Reachman. His punishment for failure is to roam the hunting grounds as prey. His chest, a gaping hollow, a reminder of his weakness. Yes, here's the Briarheart. Consider it returned. The grotto belongs to the weird once again. But more importantly, to you. I'll be watching you, mortal. A larger hunt looms in your future. One I'll watch with great interest. Okay, that's not bad. I got the uh, medium shoulders Spriggans, the unique piece in Divines. I'm guessing that's going to be worth some money, but I haven't got the add-ons on at the minute. Okay, I need to delete some items out of my inventory quickly. Okay guys, so now that's that completed right there. That's the first quest in our new series in Bankerai. Now we are going to go move on and grab this delve over here, the Crypt of Exiles. Now I'm going to teleport to that and I'll just jump cut to all the entrances of the delves, guys. So, BRB! And here we are, guys. We're at the second location. And this is the delve Crypt of Exiles. Now these are really, really simple. All we do is we go in, we kill the mobs along the way, kill the boss inside and that's it, it's done. We're back out and we move on guys. It'll literally take two minutes. There's not nothing really I need to discuss or cover in this. So 
Let's just get in, get it done, get the drop. Hopefully I'll drop something. A Spriggan's sword sharpened would be really, really nice. It would be worth a lot of money as well. So this is the thing about doing these. Along the way, if you just go and complete all the PvE content in a zone, guys, with the new one time real patch now, you can pick up some really, really valuable items wherever you are. I mean, the Spriggan's sword sharpened. I'm guessing this thing's going to be worth... 300k maybe, if not a little bit more. I haven't got the MM on at the minute because this is a new computer I'm running off, so. We'll take the quest in here as well. I'll just take that on the journal right now. Recover the memory stone. Okay. But like I say, all these trash mobs, guys, there's not really much I can say or do here to keep you entertained. I mean, I could tell some jokes, but not even my jokes are funny, so that wouldn't be really interesting for you guys either. So I'm just going to smash through these trash mobs and get to the final boss. Oh my god. Come on, game. Give me the... There we go. Okay, so we got the memory stone. Now we need to go talk to Madima. Let's help this guy quickly with his mobs. Smash these off. I'll take two seconds. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, the character that I'm running on right now is a Magic and Nightblade. And he is a Dark Elf. So if any of you guys are interested into the build or the sets that I'm running, just leave me a comment down in the box below and I'll be happy to make a quick video on that to show you. I mean, as you can see, this guy's got amazing single target. And then just on the back bar there with the Sap Essence and the Wall of Elements, it is a really strong AoE as well. The Destro Wool, you guys all know, the Destro Wool is fucking OP at the minute. If you are running a Magicka build, I really, really recommend that you be running the Destro Ultimate. As it is by far the best Ultimate out there. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be nerfed or anything in the future. I haven't read too much into it, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did nerf it at some point. I mean, if any, have any of you guys been in Cyrodiil lately and seen the raiding at the minute... The organised raids are just absolutely diabolical at the minute. You cannot literally do anything. They all stack Destro ults. They're all using Sap Essence as a self heal. And if you stack Sap Essence with the Destro ult, you are fucking dead, guys. I don't care how tanky you are, you're dead. These, that's I've not been going Cyrodiil for quite a while now, and that's the sole reason why is because I can get along with the lag. I mean, I got used to the lag. I've played this game for a while now. So that's not really the issue. Uh, the stamina proc build was a little bit of an issue for me at first. But now there is ways around that. So that's not too bad. But the real issue I really am having at the minute is with the Destro ult and the raids. It is just literally impossible to do anything. Okay, so, we need to head back into that delve now, and Good grab job, that w that boss that's in there. So, we'll grab this quest on the way. I'll skip the dialogues, guys, because they must be boring. Let me know if you want to listen to him in future. So, let's go back into the delve. Let's kill this boss, get the drop, and then we'll move on, guys, and we'll complete this quest that we've just taken. Okay, okay guys, and we're back. Now, we are nearly here at this boss back in this delve. We did do the quest and we it led us back outside to hand it in. But we'd not completed the boss, so we've had to come back in and quickly smash this guy off so that it does turn white on the map. 
I'm guessing he's just around this corner. So I'm just going to keep running around and drag the mobs with me as I go. Here he is. So I'm going to hit this guy straight away with the Destro ult. Just watch this guy melt. It's absolutely unreal. Now I haven't got this morph yet, so I can't chase him out. But as you can see, job done. Spriggan's belt, well fitted. Now I'm going to take that. That might be worth some money, guys, actually. Oh, let me find something to delete. I really, really need to clear my entry before inventory before the next episode. This is kind of embarrassing, having to go through all this all the time. And of course, it picks up all the fucking junk and leaves the Spriggan's belt on the floor. So, let's destroy some more. Okay, and there we go. In fact, I'm going to ask Gildy quickly if anyone's got an MM on this. If you bear with me one second. And we'll see what this is actually worth right now. It might be worth nothing, but I'm guessing in the well-fitted trait, it's pretty good. Okay, why is this guy there? I was going to say, why is he taking no damage? Okay, so let's figure out our next plan. So we did take that quest in fact and so I'm just going to make that quest active and we're going to go do that. And then this will be probably the last thing we do in this episode guys as time is cracking on. Oh! That was a god. Me saw it! Me saw it. Okay guys, so we're going to leave it there. Hopefully you did enjoy that. Like I say, if you've got any questions at all, please leave me a comment in the box below. Any feedback, good or bad, if you would like me to add something, take something out, stop making this fucking program altogether, that's fine by me. Leave a comment down below, guys. Any feedback is good feedback. If you did like this video, though, feel free to drop me a like and subscribe for more content, guys. I upload daily, and now with this new Let's Play season, I'm going to be uploading twice daily now. I have a new area I can make my videos, which is nice and quiet, so there is no excuses now, guys. I'm no longer sick, and so I would like to thank you all for watching, and peace out, guys.